Hey Christina, sorry long time no see, but it's time to finally film another video. First things first, I have finally tallied up our punishments and missed videos. I don't know if you can see it right here. Christina, you have five missed video and I have four. And we both have five lates. I think Christina has a couple more lates than I do, but a lot of them was when she started uploading on time and then I just finished uploading later. And yeah, so I think that means Christina has a total of five big punishments and five little punishments. And I have a total of four big punishments and five little punishments. Another big thing is I have finally finished Ramadan. So I have finished Ramadan and we are getting back on the train with the Fang Siblings videos and I'm starting to settle down. This brings me to the topic of today's videos, which is what I'm gonna call the enthusiasm versus difficulty graph. For so much of my life, I've done these kind of 30 day challenge things and it always sort of kind of falls within the same pattern. All right, the pattern is this. So on the bottom, we have kind of time. So imagine this is the 30 days of Ramadan and then this is kind of how much there is. So in the beginning, you start off, you know, you're pretty enthused. And then the next couple of days, you're like, oh, wow, this is really cool. This is amazing. And then as you go, your enthusiasm kind of naturally dips. And then once you get really used to it, then nothing's new. You really know what's going on. And your enthusiasm really starts to dip until about here. And then this is when you just really want to quit. You really want to be over. And then you're like, oh, it's almost over. I might as well enjoy it. And you get a little bit of like graduation goggles now that it's almost over. Then, so in the beginning, you know, it starts off with a difficult. Wow, this is really hard. But it's still way underneath the how easy it is. Then it starts to get really, really hard. You're like, wow, this is difficult. But you're still super excited about it. Then it kind of gets easier. It gets really easy. You know, you kind of get into the habit of it. It's not too bad. And then you meet at this point. This is what I call the quitting point. Every time I've done any of these challenges, I've always quit in between two to three weeks. Because... This part, I think, is the first big barrier of quitting, right? When it gets really, really hard, but you're still really excited, you just kind of think it's too hard. But here is, I think, the real problem. It's when, whenever you're doing something new that you're not excited about it, you know what it's like, and you're, and you're not really seeing as much growth and benefits as you'd like, and it's still at a similar level of difficulty. Then it just gets harder and harder, and it seems like your enthusiasm doesn't get through. I feel like this kind of area, I have always struggled with. I've always struggled pushing through with completing things, with getting through with commitment. All right, going back to my face now. I think it also kind of mirrors what the Fing siblings has been like, you know? Both me and Christina, we started off hot, but then it comes down to March and April, and we're both really struggling to make time to upload videos, to come up with ideas. I think of my mind sort of like a fire starter. I love coming up with ideas. I love, you know, bursts and thoughts of creativity, but I always struggle following through, staying consistent, turning an idea into a plan and turning an action and turning an action into repeated action. In the book, Atomic Habits, they talk about the story of the stonemason who hits the rock the same part a thousand times and nothing happens. And then he hits it the thousand first time and then the rock splits right in half. You know, the casual observer will be like, oh, that's the hit that did it. But the stonemason knows that that hit isn't possible without the whole th with the thousand hits before it, and I feel like I've always struggled. I've hit it like maybe five thousand times, and I've and nothing's happened, and I've always struggled to kind of push through till the end. I'm so thankful that with this challenge and kind of keeping each other accountable, that I've been able to go further than I ever have in the past, and I hope that throughout the rest of the year that we will double down and go further as well. It's like that common saying, if you want to go fast, run by yourself. If you want to go far, run with others. So I'm so happy that I'm doing this here. I'm so happy that we're doing this together and I hope that we can continue it. But as part of our goals, by the end of the year, we both want to have 52 videos. I'm five, be I'm four behind and you're five behind. So hopefully in our punishment week, we're able to crunch out, you know, these made up videos so that we can be on, t so we can be on track that we upload every week that we will have 52 videos by the end of the year. I have to do this as well as a couple of things that I still haven't done from one winter night. One of my big goals with this channel and this summer is to turn all that positive energy enthusiasm and turn it into the ability to follow through, to be consistent, to turn good ideas into good habits, into good habits, into big results. And yeah, 
So Christina, I hope to see your video on Monday. If not, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And we start getting videos. We start getting back in the habit of things. And then we'll do our punishment week. And then we'll be right back on track. Christina, I'll see you on Monday.